Welcome. This video to give you a brief how to use the daily report in Power BI file. We have here main uh, three pages. Every page includes the important data that that's a common knowledge in uh, construction project. The first page including the project name, logos, and here's the indirect manpower, direct manpower, summary, project duration, equipment list. Each table here has equivalent table in Excel. Second page, site activity, daily activity, and here is the number, activity, and location. The second table here is the receive material per item, quantity, and unit. Also, this has equivalent table in Excel. The final page is the images, and we have six image per file. For each day, we have six image for each day. Each image, below each image, Below every image, the description for it. And this one linked also with the Excel file. Let's take a look on the Excel file. As I told you, every table has equivalent in Excel. Whatever in red, that means don't change the column name. The column name. You can change whatever here, but don't change the column name. Uh, you have to start... You have to start the day according to your project from here and fill the remain of data. Same here and here. For the general information, we have the weather, actual temperature, actual humidity, DCR. Also, you can add whatever you want here and change the date. For the site activity, this one is very important. It looks like the previous one, but the difference is what? The difference is if you want to add new area, you have to write it here and beside this one, give it a code. That means if I have in the uh, four, four, uh, for January, work at area 8, this new area. If I have C here, that means it will work right. But if you don't have, no. Then put the activity, 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever. And if you have another area, just write area 9 and here D, for example. It must be a letter, not, not a number. And here continue the numbering. Like uh, 22, 23, 24, like this. Okay. Also, don't change this one. I will keep it like this for to be clear. The material uh, is very simple. Once the storekeeper receives the material, let him update it. Here, whatever the item, the quantity, the date, and the unit. Image, you have to put the direct link from whatever the server you use it or the site you use it and beside it the description and here is the date. And I advise to keep six images per day to get the, the result you want. If you change the red column name, uh, you have to make some adjustment in the Power Query, not the Power BI. And if you don't know how to make it so better to keep it as it is also the sheet file and the sheet name once you download the, the file you have to update to update the file location from here data source setting and change the source select the new location to update the project duration status you have to go for the this one and right click edit query and from here just click this here here and write the project start and the new project finish also it will work very good with you all the pages synchronized by this slicer 
and when it change here it will change in the second and the third page this was a brief for how to use this file and to get more you can join to our course in udemy power bi for project planning and control english or the arabic version the course include two mini skills starting from scratch Still learning how to link Promovera direct to Power BI, learn the DAX formula, uh, Power Query, uh, tips and tricks, and too many things. And to get the latest coupon, you can direct contact me on Facebook or LinkedIn. I, I hope this video was good for you, and thanks for your watching.